Welcome to this 20 minute yoga practice to strengthen and stretch your body. Today we will work from head to toe, take breaks when needed and make modifications such as coming to your knees. I'm so thankful you are here. Let's start in a sun salutation. So coming up to the top of your mat, giving yourself a nice big inhale, reaching your arms above, bringing thumbs to heart center and then inhale, reaching tall as you swan dive down, bringing hands to shins, half lift, and then lower down. Forward fold, let head be heavy, walk out your knees. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and come into half lift and lower, walking back one leg and then the other, high plank. Lower chaturanga to upward facing dog, inhale, Exhale, downward facing dog, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. Bending one knee and then the other, slowly walking it out. Inhale and exhale. Breathing nice and deep, rolling through ocean wave, high plank. Lower left knee, extend right leg. Pilates push-ups for eight and seven. Six, chin to mat five, elbows go straight back for four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Lowering that right foot, bringing left to meet right, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Bend knees, walk feet in towards hands. Root to rise as you inhale and reach tall and thumbs to heart center. Inhale and exhale here and then prepare for tree posture. So planting left foot, bringing right to ankle, shin, or the inner thigh, pressing foot into leg, leg into foot, shoulders are down and chest is open. Breathing, inhale and exhale. Really think of pressing down through the mat as you balance here in this posture. Releasing down, sun salutation. Inhale tall and swan dive down. Hands to shins, half lift and lower down. Hands to mat, walking back one foot and the next. Lower chaturanga, press into upward facing. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Inhale and exhale here in your downward facing. Roll through ocean wave and lower knees. Extending left leg, Pilates push-ups for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Lowering extended leg, right to meet left, and press back, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Bend the knees, walk the feet in towards the hands. Root to rise, inhale, reach, and thumbs to heart. Tree on the other side. So this time, planting the right foot, bringing left ankle, shin, or inner thigh. Press foot into leg, leg into foot, and breathe. Shoulders are nice and relaxed really grounding through the mat here as you inhale and exhale. Place foot down, root to rise, inhale, and swan dive down. Hands to shins, half lift and lower down. Hands to mat, walking back one foot and the next. Lower through chaturanga to upward facing. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Inhale and exhale. Raising the left leg nice and high, three-legged dog. Feeling that stretch along the right side and then bringing left foot all the way through, externally rotating back leg and finding warrior two. Breathe here, peaceful warrior reaching up and behind you. Shoulders are down, elbow to knee, reaching right arm and then reaching back. Reaching forward, extended side and reaching back. Good, flowing through this, elbow to knee, and peaceful warrior. Good, last one, elbow to knee here. Hold and breathe. 
fingertips to mat, internally rotate back foot. Big circles here, reaching tall and scarecrow, reaching back and forward, bend the elbows, reaching up towards the sky and bend and reaching forward and tall and opening the chest. Good. Diving down, hands to mat. Go ahead and bring both hands to the instep of the left foot and find your lizard. So keeping your knee high here, or if you'd like to drop down to the back knee, you can do that as well, feeling a big stretch through the hip flexors. You can even come to your elbows if that feels good. Breathe nice and deep. Inhale and exhale. Feeling that nice stretch. We're continuing to breathe here. Then go ahead and press up to your hands, coming to the back leg, up onto the toes, and press left to meet right. Coming down to your forearms, lift the hips, dolphin plank, and forearm, three more. Press back and lower over shoulders. Lift hips and lower down and lift back and lower down hip dips here for eight and seven six five four three two and one right and left good Go ahead and come to your knees and then lower down to your left hip. We're gonna sit back on our hips and go for mermaid crunches. So you can bring your elbow to your knees like this, or if you want, you can reach your hand to your feet. Here we go. It's eight. Release. Seven. And down. Six. Five. Four. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Release down here and come into your boat posture. So reaching your hands towards your feet, shoulders down and back and chest is open. You can extend your legs or keep them bent. Breathe and hold for three, two, one, and hamstrings to roll and back and hold. Release back and hold two more times release back and hold last time to stand release back and then roll all the way up using your hands inhale reach it tall and thumbs to heart center coming into a wide legged forward fold so reaching the length of your mat leading with your chest let your head drop heavy you can move organically through this if you wish bending one knee and the other inhale and exhale Feeling that nice stretch through the hamstrings. Breathing nice and deep. Good, and then slowly walk towards the left leg at the front of the mat. Press left to meet right, flow here. Upward facing dog. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Breathing nice and deep. Bend the knees, walk the feet in towards the hands. Root to rise, inhale, reach, and thumbs to heart center. Inhale, nice and tall, and swan dive down. Half lift, and lower down. Hands to mat, walking back one foot, and the next. Lower through chaturanga to upward facing. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Inhale, right leg lifts. Three-legged dog. Breathing nice and deep. Bring the foot all the way through the hands. Externally rotate back hand, warrior two. Shoulders down, chest open. And reaching forward with the left, extended side angle. Release back, peaceful warrior. And forward, extended side. And back, peaceful warrior. Extended side to peaceful warrior, reaching front and reaching back, good, extended side angle and peaceful warrior, breathe nice and deep, 
coming forward internally rotate that back leg and reach nice and tall both hands big circles here as you reach forward open up the arms and reach tall reaching forward big circles out and around and up reaching forward out and around and up last one reach forward out and around and reach tall here reaching down bring both hands to the instep of the right foot and feel that lizard stretch so keeping the knee extended or lower down to the mat you can also bring your forearms to the mat if you want an even deeper stretch breathe here Inhale and exhale. Good. With each exhale, release a little bit deeper into this posture. Go ahead and press up through the hands, coming to the toes, right to meet left, high plank, and then lower down to your forearm plank. Dolphin plank for four, release down, and three, release, two, release, and one excellent and down hip dips for eight and seven six five four three two and one finding high plank go ahead and lower now to that right hip i'm going to flip around here just to be able to face you all Mermaid crunches, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release down. Once again, finding that boat, reaching fingertips towards feet, Keeping knees bent, or you can straighten the legs. Hold here. Continue to breathe. Good. And hamstrings to roll for four. Coming up. And three. Two. Last one to stand. We're going to go back, create momentum, and all the way up. Inhale, root to rise, reach, and thumbs to heart center. Inhale, swan dive down, half lift, and lower down. Walking back, find high plank. Lower through chaturanga to upward facing. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing. Right leg lifts nice and high, three-legged dog. Breathe. Feeling that stretch, and then bring right leg all the way through into your pigeon. So opening up the chest, coming forward, feeling that right hip open. Back leg is stretched right behind you. Inhale, and with each exhale, release a little deeper into this stretch. Breathing nice and deep. Go ahead and start to bring your hands up by your sides. And bending that back leg, reach up towards the ceiling with a nice gentle back bend here. Inhaling, and then go ahead, exhale as you come down. Internally rotate the back foot and come on up into a plank and then lower into sphinx posture. Forearms pressed into the mat. You can bring your right foot towards your glutes if you want to give yourself a nice quadricep stretch. Breathing nice and deep, and then release it down. Coming back into your child's pose. Hips rest against the heels, fingers stretch towards the top of the mat, and then rolling up, resting back down. Reaching for that back leg, this time on the instep, and reach the foot up towards the ceiling in a half boat posture. Shoulders away from the ears, and release down. Press back, child's pose once again. Inhale and exhale. Round through, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Breathe, inhale, exhale as you feel the stretch. 
Lifting left leg this time, three-legged dog. Nice, foot comes all the way between the hands up to your pigeon. Feeling a nice stretch before you come forward, making sure that back leg is straight behind you and feeling the release through the left hip. With each exhale, let go a little bit more. Good, pressing your hands beside you, bending the back leg in and reaching up towards the ceiling, swan pose. Inhale, exhale, coming down, internally rotate back foot, bringing left to meet right and lowering down once again into your sphinx posture. Shoulders away from ears and then you can bring that back leg forward for a nice quadriceps stretch once again on the other side. Releasing down, press back child's pose, hips against heels, inhale and exhale. Good, begin to move forward and drop the heels down, this time finding half boat with the left foot, so flexing the foot, raising the heels and the bottom of the foot up towards the ceiling, hold here for three, two, one, and release it down. Good, pressing back one final time, child's pose. Feeling a nice stretch as you reach fingertips towards the top of the mat. Good, rolling through, lowering down. Locust, so reaching hands towards the feet, lift the chest, lift the heels, hold here, squeezing glutes together. Inhale and exhale, tiny sips of air, and then hands under chin, beat heels for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and release. Pressing back. Cat and cow here just for a moment to loosen up that lower back and spine. Tucking chin. Inhale as you expand the chest. Lowering back down once again. We're going to go into that posture once again. So lift feet, lift head. Hold here for three, two, one. Hands under chin for eight seven, six, beating ankles, five, four, three, two, and press back. Nice job. Cat and cow once again. Inhale and exhale. Feeling that back as you round through the shoulders, through the spine. Go ahead and come to your back for your final posture, Shavasana. So laying back, Palms towards the ceiling, legs are relaxed, thighs open, stomach is soft, both shoulders pressed into the mat, letting your body be fully supported, inhale and exhale, letting the lines around your eyes and your mouth relax, and breathe. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe stretching your arms up and over your head. Give yourself one final full body stretch. Pause as you roll your bone to one side for a moment and then come up to a seated position. Inhale nice and big, hands to touch and thumbs down to heart center. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Napoleon Hill. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. If you want more practices similar to this style, please like and comment below. Thanks.